Emmert International proudly presents the Rigging Job of the Year entry for the Specialized Carriers and Rigging Association. ABB contacted Emmert International in October 2000 about specking out the largest transformers that could be built and the feasibility of the transportation to the power station in Silmar, California. Emmert began working with ABB to design the largest transformer dimensionally possible but still be able to transport to the site via highway. ABB wanted to build the transformer as big as possible as to limit the number of transformers needed. The design process also needed to consider the installation, lifting, and transportation aspects of such units. After many hours of design and considerations, the desired outcome was found making it possible to have the transformers built larger and more efficient and still be able to be moved in the continental U.S. To achieve the move, various modes of transportation were considered, but quickly narrowed down to rail and over the road via beam transporter. A transformer was designed, 42 feet 6 inches in length, 12 feet 10 inches in width, and 15 feet 11 inches in height. It weighed 773,750 pounds. The fully dressed transformer minus the oil would weigh 864,000 pounds and be able to be rigged, transported, and installed in a timely fashion. Next. Emmert and ABB performed a joint presentation with the customer and after extensive review and evaluation was awarded the contract. Emmert International immediately began engineering and the formal permitting process. After two years of planning and engineering, Emmert received all the permits needed and could begin the transportation process. As the new transformers were being manufactured, the old transformers were removed. The old transformers were jacked and placed on the 500-ton skid system designed and built by Emmert. Then a hydraulic ram pushed it to the center of the roadway, where the gantry was then set up and lifted to allow the platform trailer to drive underneath to load and move the transformer to the recycling area. This process was repeated for all seven of the outdated transformers. Emmert was allotted three days in the schedule by the owner for each transformer. With Emmert's experience, the removal of the old transformers was finished within nine working days instead of the predicted 21. New walls and foundations could then be constructed to match the new transformers' dimensions. Emmert had established two approved transportation options to get from the dock to the power station. For speed and cost effectiveness, the 20-axle rail car was the first choice. The rail car needed to use a section of metro rail tracks that was restricted to Sunday-only transportation, whether it was an unladed or laded rail car due to the travel difficulties expected by the rail agency. The pieces were shipped to the U.S. on heavy-lift, self-geared ships. The reactors and transformers were shipped in four different shipments due to manufacturing time, which made planning and execution of each move critical. Once at the port, the units were lifted off utilizing both cranes in unison to lift the 773,750 pound transformers. The dock, which the units were being offloaded, is capable of handling some of the largest loads in the U.S. Yet due to the massive weights in a condensed area, Emmert had to reinforce the dock. Steel plates and timber mats were used to equally disperse the weight on the dock. The rail car was at the dock at the same time the units came in on the ship, making it possible to directly discharge one unit onto the rail car. The other transformers were loaded onto an 860-ton capacity, 14-line, 78-foot-long hydraulic Goldhofer trailer and moved to the staging area where the trailer would then lower to set the transformer on the eight 42-inch, 250-ton capacity staging cans until the rail car returned and the process could be repeated. Once the rail car returned for the other stage transformers, the 700-ton gantry system was used to load the rail car utilizing engineered beam softeners and custom two and three-quarter inch slings over two 36-inch box beams attached to the top to make the lift possible. The gantry would have to lift each unit over 34 feet in the air so the rail car would clear the bottom of the transformer when pulling underneath it. In order to accomplish this, Emmert was required to build the top of the track at a higher elevation. This was accomplished by placing crane mats, barge ramps, and blocking at a predetermined grade, affording Emmert the ability to perform the lift within the manufacturer's capacity specifications. 
After the initial lift phase, Emmert locked out the dead section of the gantry, which was then safety blocked in preparation for the final lift and placement in the rail car. Placement was crucial with only a few inches to spare on both ends. With the rail car loaded and ready for transport, Emmert crews would break down the 700-ton gantry and move it to the unloading site half a mile from the job site. The gantry would then be set up to receive the rail car on the spur. The spur was a live working spur that only allowed Emmert 12 hours from the time of setting the gantry on the rail spur, unloading the car, and the complete removal of the gantry system. Emmert utilized a platform trailer for the move from the spur to the job site. It was the first time a hydraulic platform trailer was issued a permit to travel on the roadways in the city of Los Angeles. This required multiple meetings with road engineers and the city of Los Angeles. It was deemed that improvements needed to be made for extra support over the hauling route. Emmert International took special considerations for the path of travel on the road. Their dedication and meticulous planning created a solid plan of action. A road survey was performed to assure that there would not be any traffic problems, cracking or bulging of pavement, damage to the underground culvert or movement around the pillbox that was on the route. Emmert crews used 40-foot steel ramps to help distribute the weight equally over an assumed culvert so that no damage would occur. Seven city engineers were on site during the first move to inspect for any problems. If any concerns were raised, the permit to use the city's roads would be revoked. No concerns were raised, and the inspectors reported to their upper management of the precision and professionalism of Emmert's execution of the move. Each move consisted of four flaggers and two pilot cars to provide safety for the crews and public on the haul route, with all parties involved being in constant radio contact. Overhead power lines, trees, and street lights proved challenging to moving the trailer with no room for errors and only inches of clearance on either side. Once on site, Emmert's originality and thorough planning allowed them to overcome site challenges and complete the project ahead of schedule. Emmert accomplished the offload and installation by utilizing a specially designed turntable installed atop our platform trailer, enabling us to rotate the transformers 90 degrees in order to align them in proper orientation prior to hydraulically lowering them onto the skid system. Designed and manufactured by Emmert at their corporate headquarters, the 500-ton low-profile skid system was constructed of T1 box beams measuring 11 inches in height, able to clear span 10 feet and distribute 125 tons of weight per skid. In addition, the skid surfaces were coated with a hybrid Teflon, which allowed for a seamless sliding surface, allowing the hydraulic rams to effortlessly propel the load to their final destination. Emmert's ingenuity led to a reduction in overall time required for an offload and rough set of components this size. Our proper planning and execution allowed us to complete the job two weeks ahead of schedule. Average overall dimensions. Length, 42 feet, 6 inches. Width, 12 feet, 10 inches. Height, 15 feet, 11 inches. Gross weight of new transformers, 6,048,000 pounds. Gross weight of old transformers, 3,948,000 pounds. Total gross weight, 9,996,000 pounds. Planning the job, two years planning and engineering. Permits, approval from the city of Los Angeles. Physical elements encountered, reinforcement and weight displacement on dock, railway usage restrictions, overhead power lines, trees and street lights, soft dirt on roadway shoulders in turning areas, minimal clearances and maneuverability, roadway reinforcement, 34 feet of required lift elevation, safety considerations, on-site meetings, 100% compliance with all safety requirements, pilot cars helping to control the flow of traffic safely around the load, radio communications between all equipment operators, execution, 6,237 man-hours on the job. Engineering, 1,280 man-hours. Ingenuity and innovations. Use of turntable for more precise maneuverability. Dock reinforcement. Design new low-profile hydraulic skid system. 
engineered beam softeners, custom built slings, designed box beam lifting attachment, new acquisitions, purchase of 20 axle Schnabel flat deck and 12 axle flat car with caboose, loss prevention, no accidents, no injuries, no incidents, no property damage, no loss of time, no structural damage, no cargo damage. Schedule, finish two weeks early. Contract, lump sum, firm fixed price.